Hello everyone! I wanted to do a video that will explain what I did for my VTMB HD overhaul mode. I First of all, I'm going to break down my decisions about the game and what I did and why I did them and all my choices. There are things that I changed, there are things that I kept, there are things that I added. One of the nice things that I added is music. This music was written by Joe Luna, my friend, and he will also will publish a an album for the game, for the mode that he made on Spotify and other platforms. The point for the music is not to replace anything. The point is to kind of freshen up the game because it's an old game and we all kind of know the music and it's an optional install. So if you don't want to install the music, just don't install it. Let me show you a few of his pieces. the audio that is like the main changes we just did the clubs we did the Ming Zhao battle we did a lot of things and um, I j it's really about refreshing the game about giving everyone else something new to listen to you can install it you cannot install it it will be available soon on Spotify and I really think it's nice it keeps with the same atmosphere I think it fits with the vibe and I think it's nice to have an original audio it's supposed to be fresh and new and I think it does just that so about the UX UI let's so when you have all of the things I will still work on the individual uh, things within the boxes they're not HD enough but for now, I think it's fine. Um, I do have the outfits here. I wanted to kind of shrink this whole thing, but I I can't. So I, I can't program anything, but I can do editing. So I really try to minimize everything as much as possible. Like if you want to do a play thing, or if you want to see something, or if you want to open something, I changed the icons into something that will fit. I made the HUD really minimal. I also changed the way that pickups are shown. About the uh, red thing, I can't change that. That is a part of the engine. Um, this is about the lockpick. People told me, why are the hands transparent? Let me show you. The reason that I made the hands transparent because I didn't want the lockpick just to be in the middle of the Air. and I did find it annoying to see sometimes I'm a dark person I'm not white and all the hands are basically white and if I if I mode a character and the character has dark skin and the hands will be white it's annoying I think it's unifying everything and it has its own style and I think it works 
So it's not a bug, it's my decision. And for all the uh, HUD things, like if you look at the bottom left, I don't really have a choice but have that black circle around. Because if I won't have that circle and I tried, the icons are not really readable. So it kind of looks bad. Now let's go out. Let me show you. Also loading screen, which took me a moment to figure out how to paint it so it will work well. And the main menu, which you already saw, of course. In the main menu, there are two moons when it spins around, but there's nothing I can do about that. There are things that I still want to upgrade, like the blood and, you know, small things that I still need to go through, but that's, that's later. I also simplify this this whole sheet thing, quest log, and all the info, and like I really try to clean it up so it will have the same kind of style. I can still, I think I can even like clean it even more, but for now I'm, I'm happy with this. I think it looks good, I think it looks clean, I think it's readable properly. Let me show you. I already made the map in a dark mode so you can just go to places and I think it looks really really nice. Stops again with the UI. I changed the maps so it, they will look more modern. Now when I talk to someone, for example, let's look at this guy, you have a lot of options like what to do, what strings pull you stranger and like you see don't have the Malkavian, although I'm a Kelvin, don't have that font anymore and then when you have the options, it's the same font, so it's readable. It doesn't look like 1995 once it's site back. So now you have all of the text and everything is unified and has proper colors and nothing pops out more than the other. And I'm kinda, kinda happy with this. Now the next thing that I wanted to show you is this. I put a bump on this car. That's why this car has so much nice volume. You see this thing? Now, unfortunately, this will need to go away. That's because the engine doesn't carry it well and it crashes. Again, I'm not a programmer, so I don't know, but essentially it likes piles up more and more uh, info and it crashes. There are some compatibility problems. About, I think about the Steam, the GOG versions or something, so I'm still working on that. Essentially, you just take the maps and replace them with the maps from the plus patch and then it should be fine. For the world itself, I think it took me about eight months to really texture the world. I didn't really touch the models, so right now when you see like this thing, you see that it's kind of like, it's not really sharp. It's, it's, it's nice, but it's not sharp, sharp. You see what I mean? See all the zigzags? Doesn't really look like spray. Although, look at the floor. It really, really looks sharp. So much that I can do. So I also try to really redesign everything to make it look more natural and more modern and to add some art here and there, like on this thing. I can, I can literally bump map everything. The engine won't carry it well. And a lot of times there will be black spots, so it won't even work. And not only that area, of course, the, I mean, like the whole game, I really upgraded everything that I thought that is a must. Now for the, when you will get the pack, you won't get the models. The reason for that is that the game will crash. So I still need to work a lot on, on stuff, but the world as you see it, it's pretty pretty damn sharp. It does it does, does really really look good. Things that I still want to edit, like I don't know if I can, but I kind of want to gray this sky out. I always found it that it's too blue. Now when I say that the game crashes, I mean every time I try to upload a new hub to show you guys the texturing, the game crashed. So I needed to open the game again and then continue on to record. So it's, it really does crash, it doesn't work well. So for now, I'm just showing you like the, whatever models that I worked on now, and later on I will need to delete all the bump maps that I actually added and to figure out how to balance it correctly so the game will not crash when you go from hub to hub. So I'm kinda happy without everything came out. I, again, I redesigned and reworked things. I really try to keep the original style of everything as much as possible. 
but there are things that I just couldn't or replace or they just look bad in my mind and there are things that are, I still think that they kind of need work and there are things that I'm construct that I just can't change that I can't do anything about so I'm really trying to have like I would I would have loved to put a girl here as a as a doll or just to remove these ones and put some kind of art here or something instead of whatever this is supposed to be but I can't and I also did like everything inside but again I'm just going to show you the hubs and for the rest of everything you can just figure out for yourself if you will download this mode there are also there is this place which is like four different stores which I didn't touch the drapery yet so for now it just will stay like that but if again if someone knows maps or how to deal with them i would have loved just to add something within this now for all the hub sounds and a lot of places i also did that with the Malkavia mansion i removed the music i always thought that if this game is supposed to be hyper realistic and stuff then it should be hyper realistic and stuff so there shouldn't be music where there shouldn't be music so I kept the music in the clubs and I removed the sound from the hubs again it's an optional install if you want to install the audio install it sure if you don't want it's fine my point is to kind of freshen up the game not to force you to install or put anything in that you really don't want the sky here looks odd because I have reshade on and I added for the whole game some sh fog but you. you can see that it's, it's not really sitting me. right but that only Chinatown looks odd I would have removed the fog from the buildings here if I could but I, again I don't know how because the fog here never looked good never so I did whatever I I could I didn't keep the original door design that was here that was beautiful because I couldn't find anything to replace it with and I don't didn't really have the time to paint it properly so maybe in the future I will paint it and then we will have the door design again but I just right now I just needed to run over everything and just to finish it up and then I'll do that with the models and then I can go back and add more details if I want to but right now this this will have to do now when I'll do the models I will make them look prettier than this I mean look how flat this is it really doesn't really look all that great now look at the pendant now that I kind of retextured it it's super super shiny now let's take it I'm not entirely happy about this retexture. I mean, I think I can do it better. I can see how, but look at how much more volume it has and more details and it's even shiny. So I still need to work on this, but like this is the basic idea for the next thing. So I'm going to go over the models and give them as much more volume and stuff as much as I can. There are things that I need to finish up but um, I believe that in the next week or so this pack will be available to download. Um, I know that there are 4 GB memory thing that can help with the crashes and everything but you need to remember that not everyone has a really good computer and I need to kind of adjust myself to the worst case scenario so I do try to aim towards having a smooth proper loading and no crashing and everything so for now I'm happy with how everything can came, came out so it will be available on Nexus in about a week or so and I just really want to make it look amazing I will probably upload a trailer about this like a proper cool trailer without me speaking and uh, so this was really the more explanatory thing